A controversial rebel statue that stood on the Dixie State University campus for 34 years has been returned to the man that created it. It was the solution after a two-year political battle due to what others thought the statue represented on campus. Southern Utah reporter D.J. Bullerjack covering the story for us tonight. D.J., what did people think about this statue and why did they take it down? Well, Mark, two years ago, that they were just trying to rebrand the university, and that statue represented a time that they were trying to move away from. One man helping his comrade up on the horse, what more would you want? And that's what it kind of, I like to look at it as. But others may have seen it differently. With a Confederate flag in hand, some believe it represents a time in history where oppression ruled the South. So it was taken down. What's wrong in the world today is everybody's too politically correct. The sculptor is Jerry Anderson. I really didn't like it. They took it down really fast. And, and it hurt a lot of people's feelings. Including his own. But Steve Johnson with Dixie State University says they had their reasons. At the time when we were, when we were looking at the rebranding of the university, uh, we were basically sent from the mid-1990s on starting to dismantle the Confederate identity that was adopted by the institution back in the late 1950s, early 1960s. This statue was the last piece left representing that era, and it was removed and placed into storage. We felt out of respect to him and the fact that he was the artistic rights owner that we would uh, return the statue back to him. In return, Johnson said that Anderson will provide other pieces of work to take its place. And as for that sculpture, it is now a permanent fixture on Anderson's front yard. He gets to see it every day, and now he's going to create some more uh, works of art for the university. Mark, back to you. All right, DJ, thanks.